When you first open the Sphero app on your iPad, Chromebook, or Windows device, you'll come to a screen that looks like this. Now, if it is the very first time that you have used Sphero, you may be tempted to sign up, but really the best thing to do is sign in. So don't be distracted by the decoy sign up button. If you press either one of these two sign in buttons, that is your best option. Ignore all of this stuff at the top because what you want to do is sign in with Google. So again, you are going to sign in, then select sign in with Google. And then you'll just type in your Marshall County email address and the same password that you use to log into your computer in the mornings. When you first log in for the very first time, there may be some questions about whether you are a student or a teacher. Uh, you may have to pick a username and just answer those questions appropriately. And then you will land on a welcome screen. And then down here at the bottom, you have an option to connect a robot. So when you are on this screen, um, the easiest way to do this is to pick up your device, whether it's your computer or your iPad, and walk to the robots. When you walk up to the crate, you will press connect robot. The robots that we have are Sphero Bolt. So we'll pick that model. And then there are a lot of different options. Um, sometimes this is really confusing. What I would say the easiest thing to do is to pick one. So you're standing at the crate of robots. Pick one. He should start to think. And whichever one lights up in the box, that's the one that you want to grab out of the box because that is your robot. So hopefully one of those robots just came to life and you have picked up that robot. Take that back to your seat and then you're ready to begin programming.